G'day Legends, we're back 2023. This is our first install for the year, we're pretty stoked on it. Um, we finally got around to doing this after all the requests, so let's have a look Al. This is our dual battery auxiliary mount, under bonnet, next gen Ranger. Um, max 25 kilos, got a few different battery options there. Now we'll go through all that a bit later. Usual shenanigans, as you can see, beers. Now for this install, you must see I've got three beers. We've got one for Alistair behind the camera, because he's a good man from AP Media. We have my beer. Now for this, this particular install, you must have a mate that drinks beer with you. And if he doesn't, like this guy, that we're gonna introduce to in a minute, he only drinks rum, they get a pink stubby cooler. They get pink stubby coolers. Now, Mick, come over here. So we've enlisted Mick today. Oh, here he comes, look at him. Look at that big bushy beard. Righto, so he's gonna be the poor soul that helps us install oh, this beautiful bit of gear. So we're gonna be installed, this is the first part of the install. Needs two people to put it in, I reckon it's a bit easier. And of course, he doesn't like having beers with their mates and installing shit. Right, so I'm gonna try my beer. I got a new one today. Someone's picked this out for me. I'm gonna try it before I say what it is, so in case it's crap, because there's a high chance it's gonna be shit. So let's give it a go, legends. Cheers, you. Oh, yeah. We're not gonna drink that one. Yeah. Face bird. Oh no, he's dropped it. No. <laughs> I'm back on the ballistic pale owls again. Can't beat these though. They're pretty bloody good. Still waiting for my carton. No. <laughs> right, I'm gonna blame that in the thrower. Let's see these ones. Oh yes. All right. <laughs> All right. Enough of that. We're good to go. Righto, so we're going to get into this install. Now, there's quite a few things in this pack. We're going to have bolts, um, a few different brackets and things like that. So we'll go through it all. Um, obviously, we've just nailed this, so we've got a heap going to powder. Um, these ones aren't powder coated, but we've got a few components that aren't stainless steel just because of what they're doing. So we powder coated this one. This piece, I mean, we painted this. So this is the battery clamp and the BCDC mount. Now, this will be stainless, but we made this one out of mild as a proto test piece to make sure it worked. So I just painted it so it looked pretty. And down here you're also going to get this bracket. Now this bracket is only necessary if you have one of our strut kits already. So if you already have one of our bonnet strut kits like we've obviously got going on here, this bracket's going to need to replace that one. If you don't, you can just throw this one in the bin because we're going to change all our strut kits to come out with this bracket now so it accommodates all our parts. Um, then you're obviously going to get this bad boy which I showed you just a minute ago. That's going to be our main support bracket. Don't see him in too far out. Paint drop shit house. So it's a grinding mick. No. Um, anyway. Oh, no, it's <laughs> gonna look a lot better than that. That was actually just the rush one to get it through. Um, so, then we've got our stainless tray that holds a battery. So basically, the first thing we're gonna do, battery selection for this is key. So when I find my scales in a minute, I'll show you. So this battery tray, you can see we've got max 25 kilos. Do not exceed 25 kilos because unfortunately with these cars, as you'll be aware by now, there isn't, there isn't really a steel in a guard. There's only plastic and there's not a lot to go off. So you're, you're sort of limited to options for what you can have. Um, so we found a couple of different options. There is a few, we are limited to room. Um, basically you'll see why later, but Height wise, with the height of the battery, you're limited to room. I do recommend having a sealed battery like everyone would. Um, if you see over here, we've got our, this is obviously the area it's going into in here. And you'll see we've got our, our water spout, beautiful. But underneath here, see it's quite flexible. You'll see you've got this. Now, if you want to go a bigger battery, you need to trim these back because if it sits up like this and you start filling it, once it gets full, it just starts overflowing everywhere and you're gonna get dust and shit all in your water you put on your windscreen, so. This one here is a DIN 75, it's a Century DIN 75. Oh, by the way, see my psychedelic pants? Ah, oh, yeah! New ones from, where look at these? JJ's, Oh, So, I think this year, you know I think we're gonna do well? We're gonna change shorts up all year. Keep the merch, change shorts. So anyways, this is a DIN 75, weighs 20 kilos, we weighed it just before. Um, so the height parameter, so you've got 320 by 185 wide, 320 long, 185 wide, by like 180 high, 190. 
we've managed to creep this one up to I think 200 but that's getting on the limits of that filler um, this one sits nicely but it's like, this is only an 85 amp hour 80 85 this one's 100 amp hour over here so it's the old Delcor HDC 2700 amp hour 12 volt blah 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 um, just google Delcor HDC 27 you will find the battery also in the description of the product in the link you'll be able to click on it and take you over to find the page and see where it's all at so first step when you buy your battery get your scales out of the bathroom the wife may get mad but that's okay grab your thing scales go at zero put it on 20 right so this one's 20 kilos this one's safe then we'll get this big battery and we'll drop him on 21.9 so as you can see both batteries are under 25 kilos so they're safe to use they're going to be secure they're not going to sort of damage anything no problems if you exceed 25 kilos not there not there and then of course you got to weigh yourself oh geez you put some this is all the rum gut but most importantly you got to weigh your mate now if your mate exceeds 25 kilos he's doing all the work no good Wait, wait, see, now this is, this, now this is a problem. This is a real problem, now hop back, I won't stand on it now. You're obviously too big. <laughs> God damn! <laughs> big boy, so, anyways, big unit. What's your nickname? <laughs> but yeah, but what is your nickname? Migsy. <laughs> Why'd we call you Migsy? Oh, I'll have fun. to show you that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's a special trip down the river. Yeah. <laughs> right, -o, let's get into it. The ground too much starving. We've got to remove the air box, not the battery box, the air box. We're going to remove the reservoir for the um, radio to call it. We're also going to pull out part of this inner guard. Which I've already part pulled that out because if you've watched plenty of my videos by now, you know how much I love these clips by Ford. So, first thing we're going to do, this clip here, we're going to See the little white bit there? We just clip that back, pull that out, and then I've only half put this back in, but you see here, it's got all these little tabs that are pointing back forward. So I just get a flat blade screwdriver, stick in there against them, so I can pull that out. <clears throat> a little bit of a pain, but it'll come out. It's just flexible plastic, no problems. Next step, I'm gonna get T30, little T30. Get that bad boy. Now this bolt here on the side of the intake, we wanna get that off. Get him, got a little fake turn there. It was actually loose, to be honest. <laughs> um, we want to get that bad boy off. Oh, the other special tool we're going to need too. So you're going to need a light, okay? And not only will you need a light, you're going to need a magnetic bolt finder. Because <laughs> when you're as bad as I am, they all go down here. And you've got to get them all back because you cannot find them at all. So we put him up there for later because we'll need him for sure. Now my other friend today is the... Milwaukee ratchet. So down here on the front of the air box, we've got a, a nut. Oh, yes. Oh, Steve, if you're watching, this was a good investment. So we're down to 7 mil. Let me just bloody... Oh, man, this is so good. I'm frothing on this. <laughs> Next minute. And what we're going to do, basically, loosen them. Pop this rubber pipe off, boom, put that over there. Oh, look, righto, so this is why, this is why you get a mate around who's not as lazy as you are when it comes to pulling cars apart. Look, he got us a box. <laughs> we lost it. So you put your nuts in the, oh, oh. Yeah. put your nuts in the, you put your bolts in the box. Righto, good idea, skank, how far, pow. Mm. Yeah, so the air box just pushes out, oh, comes up. You can see you've got these two dimple thingies here, and then here we've got two rubber inserts that they go into. So it makes it a bit hard to get out at first. Just, uh, uh, get him out. I threw this over out of the way. One of our other projects. Um, the next step is I would be pulling out to save you a bit of hustle for later. So we'll leave that on. We'll pull out the filler. <laughs> We'll pop this reservoir off. Get him out the way. 
make life nice and easy. So you've got one up here, one up here, one there, and then one down here, down in there. Oh, bloody. Oh, I love this thing. <laughs> oh, man. Um, I'll just pop this out of my way. The one thing I haven't mentioned, when you pull this off, when you pull this off here, this part that's exposed, that's the intake, obviously, straight down, goes into the bloody turbo there, and, and off it goes. So, you don't want to drop any bolts down there, because you have a hell of a time. So, quick thing to do, grab your mate's shirt, jam it in there, and that way, and there's only dust flying, you're going to heap of dust in there, and now, all is good. You'll be looking for a shirt later, but I've got it jammed up as a bit of a plug. Just don't forget to pull it out because it makes a big problem. Next step you need to do, safety. Now, let's have a safety talk. We're having a bit of fun here today, but if we don't put this back up, see this stay, if you've got a strut kit and you don't put this back up, the bonnet might fall down and hit you in the head. Now, nobody wants the, uh, nobody wants the bonnet to hit them in the head. The screwdriver in here, put about a flat blade, straight in the back of the groove there. Pop, let's pull it out like that and then just slide that back down. So 13 mil, and we undo this big bolt here that's holding on this. And even if you didn't have a strut, you still need to undo this bolt and pull the reservoir off. Well, that's a stitch up. It's a blade 12 mil. What are you doing to me, Mick? You said 13, mate. Yeah, and you gave me a 12. Oh, I did too, sorry. Ah. Oh, it turns out your mate's not that good up neither. You're as bad as me. Oh, works as a ratchet too. Beautiful. That one in there. Right there. I'm going to drop this and feel it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I saved the nut. Hang on to it. The magnet is not that good it after all, is in it? Between the radiator and the thermo fan. You got another magnet to get it out? <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> the magnet was meant to save us all the trouble. Look what's happened. Next step, well, Mick's trying to fish out what he dropped. I have it. Hey, got it. Oh, telescopic. So next step, you see you got two parts of the inner guard. We want to undo this section here of the inner guard. You don't need to pull this shit out. Just this section here, just so we can expose. A couple in here so we can expose in there to put in this brace support. So down here we've got a couple of big ones. You can see we've popped them out already. Then I've got one up here. Actually, I think I left that. No, I've got the one up there. Pull that out of the way. And I've got one in the front here. Righto. So we've got him out. A bit rough, but you know, we got him. So there you can see we've got the inner guard down. So we've exposed this area here where we're going to start working. Air box is out. Reservoir is there. We've got all our room here. We don't really need to reach here. We just need to reach in here. Mainly through here. We forgot one critical part, so I sent Mick to go and get it. While he's gone, let's have a hydration break. Go, El. Don't worry about Mick, we don't need him, eh? Is yours, El? Yes. Is mine? Ah, we're on. Big boy? Yes. You. Plug, pirate merch. Oh, need this on every camping trip, keeps you safe. <laughs> These two, we're going up from here, past your mate, the bracket. Now, we're going to show them quickly, El, where the bracket goes. So, when you go down in here, you're going to see, actually, before we go down, skate, let's just, let's just show them. See, so you got a big hole there where my finger is. Yeah. Right there. So, in there is where the top hole here lines up. And then from there you can go. So, you're going to put this bracket down, slide it down, skate, and it goes under here. It goes under here as well. So, I'll let him put it in place so you guys can see. You see that? We line up with that hole at the top. Oh, my finger. Oh, my finger. Oh. Uh, <coughs> It helps to pull this rubber inside out and put this other bolt in. Oh yeah, that too. Pull that rubber out. I actually didn't even know that because I haven't put the bolts in yet. <laughs> right, eh? So I'm going to start feeding stuff up too. Oh, hello. We come down here. The easiest one to start with is this. So this will be straight, not bent. I pre-bent this one. It's a bit fun to get. You start with this side one. Now this one points that way back towards the radiator and it goes up about yay far and it's closer closer to the front so we're going to give you a bit longer bolts than what you need so your mate can poke it through 
and you can feel it up. So first go up there, feel around. You'll see there's another captive nut in there from factory. Then get your mate to poke it in, head over this way towards the, the, the I guess the back of the car and you'll find where his nut is and then he can sort of pull it back and you can kind of light it up and rub it around, you know, a bit of fur and boom, you're on. So, let's get that in there. So I bent this up into shape, obviously. So the other thing to point out, so too, you see how we've got these little notches here? Makes it easier to bend and then when you're done, you can just break it off and just leave that bit in there and break all this off throughout the bin. So as you can see, we're gonna put it in through this hole here, this big square piece. Let's move my finger so I can get into the camera. That's where we're going to jam it in. Um, now, it can make it easier if you do pull the wheel off. Um, if you pull your wheel off and jack carve and that, but I uh, try to do as little as possible, make things as easy as I can. We jam that up here. <clears throat> so, Mick will have his bolt in there somewhere, and I'm going to try. Down. He's going to have a bit down, of a down, look. Down, 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 down. And then to the front of the car. He's going to have a look through one of them holes. Line him up. There you go. Oh, hey. First one in. Leave it loose. Now you gotta leave that one loose, don't do any, so you wanna do, you wanna get the entire battery tray assembly in, bless the battery, before you tighten any of the bolts for it, then go back through and tighten them on, which we'll show you along the way. So don't get carried away tightening everything up, because you just start pulling things on the pierce and out of square and it won't work. funny, yeah. Yeah, the long stick on this one don't really matter. Bit of a play to get that in. Manhandle it. Now these go nuts facing towards the front of the car, flat surface facing towards the thingy. And then we're gonna go up, up, up. A bit more, whoop. And Mick's gonna Can you push a bit towards me. I'm trying. I've lost up it. a bit more. <laughs> and then Mick's gonna light it up and do his thing. So these are the M8 bolts, but I think everything's M8 to be honest. Retract that statement. <laughs> this one's the tricky one. Yeah, now this bottom one's a little bit tricky. It's always best if your mates do it, it makes it a bit easier on you. It's <laughs> oh, probably my favourite install. Oh. So um, next step, we need to get this bolt in here. So just under the battery box here, you're going to see Alistair will zoom in here for us. We're gonna have a, a bolt that goes in here. Doink, straight in from under there. We'll do this bad boy up too, get him nice and loose. Get a bit tighter. That one goes in. The very next thing I need to do is get my ratchet, which I'll put here, and the 10 mil, and get the, get the rest of this washer bottle off I forgot about. And just to explain something, the reason why we have to pull the reservoir off is that this big bolt in here, actually you can't get it out with that in there. Some of you might be able to actually, but I have not got that much talent, so, you know. Yeah, so that's why we pull it out. We get this one. So we'll get this out of our way, so we don't have to bloody worry about it for a while. Get that bolt in there. Pardon me, M6 bolt. And you'll see right about here is a nut set. You put the M6 bolt in. Drop down, we'll try to start it. Get him started a bit of the way. Now then we grab our battery tray, which we've got down here. Mix around a few things. Now you'll see here we've got a bit of a slot. And we've got a cut out at the front. Slot here. Right there. So that basically put the nut in and then helps us locate it. Drop him in. And we just drive that slot over that bolt. And now we've located it. We've got it somewhat sitting up. Just makes it a bit easier with that one to tighten up later. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> Righto Legends, you may notice that it's now obviously a daylight. We uh, got a bit carried away last night. We did something, we cut a wrong revision and we um, <laughs> tried to bolt it in, it didn't fit, then we got carried away on the beers. So Saturday now, we're here, we're trying again. So we've got a new beer today. We have, uh, let me try it first actually. <laughs> I'm gonna try it first. <laughs> Cause that one yesterday was terrible. Right, cheers Legends, you. Oh yeah, that one's not bad. Right, I'll tell you what it is, hang on. We're on the um, on the Brick Lane, One Love Pale Ale. Ooh, yeah. Not bad. Not too bad. Right, anyways, enough beer critiquing. Let's um, 
let's finish this off. We're pretty much up to this stage last night. Going to put all this back in, blah, blah, blah. So, the next step, what I have found out today is that you can actually have this in there and get this bolt in and out if you actually try a bit harder. So, <laughs> try a bit harder today and it actually works. So, I'll put this back in so we can be done with this. We'll get our three bolts for that. So that one's in, we've got a little bolt here that we spoke about earlier that started. So we sit the battery tray over. Get our battery tray, beautiful battery tray. And we can just slide this in now. Again, this slot at the back here, I can't remember if we spoke about that last night. This slot at the back here, that sits over that bolt, helps you line it up. So you bloody Gets everything somewhat lined up. Now this is the important part that you've just got to do everything slow here. You don't want to go crazy and start tightening up. Get everything in and sitting nice before we tighten everything up. Obviously we've tightened this bracket up. Our bolts one, two in there, and three around here and this one here. So they're all tight, rock solid. And then we're putting this on now and lining everything up. So we'll go ahead and get this one on too. Ta-da! And we'll find our bolt a bit earlier. We're there, we're there. So just gonna give it a little bit of a flexi, loosen, loosen them off, them two up there. Give it a little bit of elbow, bit of elbow grease, and you'll get it in. A little bit of flexi, flexi. Now it is plastic, so it's all good. But if, it's, if you're watching this video and now it's been about 10 years, Probably don't push on it. Have you ever seen a falcon 10 years old? Oh yeah. Touch the plastic and it's <laughs> Right, Righto, so that one's in. He's just got a few fingers on him. And then on this one here, the right revision comes with this plate. Little compensate plate, bolt washer, five mile Allen key. Boom. Get him in there. Get him started. You gotta push your tray into position. <laughs> Always helps. Two swigs of the beer and he's already lost it for the day. Now we want to get the air box sitting back in, so we've got a bit of play there still. So we get the air box back in. So like I touched on last night, we sort of aim to hit that one in first, the one towards the firewall, which goes in this one. For some reason the air box seems to sit back in the rubbers better. So it's quite painful at times to get it back in. That's, yeah, that actually did go in pretty well. It's not gonna lie. Nice, goodness. It's getting there. Then we need to get our don't forget this bit, a little crush tube. So as you can see here, the air box sits over that. And this is the little tricky part. Got to bloody pull it back, pull up the air box, maneuver it around to line those this bloody hole up. And then find his, where's your bloody hole? Oh, there it is over there. And line the bolt up with his home. It's a little bit tricky, that's why I leave everything loose, just to get all that into position. You can see we've got all our bolts in position now. Everything's sort of in, ready to tension up. So what I do is we do this step nice and close, nice and slow. We want to pull this one in, not tight. Just pull this one in so it's just touching. Pull that one in a bit more so it's just touching. Then we're going to tighten these ones up so they pull them right in. Because this will actually pull down a little bit onto the clamp. But we don't want to go and rank, crank these right up and then need sort of deform. We want to get it in position. So just a little... Oop, I went a bit hard, my bad. Did exactly what <laughs> I think that one's pretty good where it was. Yep, yeah, he's got the finger juice. -ju Give him a nice tight sort of finger pull. Yep. Beautiful. Put out there the beer. Very important. Hydrate. Need some hydration now? Yes. Yeah, go on, bro, in there. Number five, Allen key. It's on a bit of a funny angle, so it's pretty easy to use a long end of it. Like so. You see I've got the wrong washes. <laughs> That's right, doesn't matter because you guys love the right ones. So this is our prototype tray, yours will look way better than this. It's just showing you how to install the video. So this is not even welded this tray yet, so it's just straight off the laser folder and we're just showing you how to install it basically. So your one's going to be, whew, oof, be Lamborghini ready. <laughs> ooh. New Lamborghini on a new somewhere. product for Lamborghinis. Ooh. Pirate Lambo. Pirate Lambo. Imagine if we had the money for that. Jeez. 
Um, so anyways, we've tightened these up, ones up really, really nice. Get them in there. Takes a bit of fiddling around this one. Right, so we've got that done. We're going to get our, oh wait, a 13 mil spanner. Oh, oh, get him out of the way. I'm going to get this one done back up. Now be very careful here, because these edges underneath here are bloody sharp, which I touched on in another video, and I've uh, busted myself the other week doing this, so just be mindful that it is sharp. All the edges on this sink for some reason. Now, a good thing about these, they can be used as a ratchet. Right, eh? So that's that bad boy done. We'll put the pipe back on. Now, remember yesterday we went through the exercise of putting this down. I don't really do anything with the pipe. Let's give it a little inspection, make sure you haven't built up with dust rings and shit in there because this goes straight into the engine. Yep, beautiful. Massage them in place. Seven mil. Whoop, whoop. Do that up. Beautiful. Beautiful. Probably, probably shouldn't use this on them, but I'm um, <laughs> I'm lazy. Office hands. Office hands, lazy. Saturday. I'm doing it throughout, right, but doing about. Push that clip back on and make sure, do not forget to push this white clip forward or it will come off. And then we got this bit here, beautiful piece. Pop that back in there, boom, that's in. So now the air box is assembled. So now we just need to put, we better give Mickey's shirt back. <laughs> Where's the battery, right, eh? It's an heavy bastard, eh? All right, battery's in. Get our BCDC clamp. Now on this, this is gonna come with some nut certs in here. So you're gonna be able to grab a BCDC, sit it on top, right, 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 right. Screw it down and his auto sparky can, whoever can wire it all up for you. All well, are very organized, so you're gonna get a long bolt and a shorter bolt. But this one isn't gonna be an Allen key like I'm gonna put in here because I got the wrong size bolt. Well actually what happened, I didn't get the wrong size bolt actually. What happened was we had a DIN 75 battery, which this would have worked perfect on. And then we discovered yesterday that we could get this Delcor battery. 100 amp hours, we give you more, and everything fat, fit in the parameters, but I didn't realize that, you know, we went up in height in the battery, so we need a longer bolt, and I forgot. So here we are. So I didn't really get it wrong, did I? No. Nah. That means another beer for me, hey? Yeah. You're a good man, Al. <laughs> we'll jump around that side, bro, so I can get my little safety step. The bin. Alrighty. So, just want to make sure that's lined up straight. There's going to be foam tape and stuff like that inside these trays. So, don't really worry too much about that. It'll all be there. We'll line him up nice. Everything looks good. Yep, pretty close. Beautiful. If you're running the DIN 75, which we have down here, you don't need to modify anything. But if you're like me and you're going to put in this 100 amp hour, when we put this back in here, like so, you can see it's sitting up. And all it is is these things here for, I'm not sure what reason they're actually there for. So we're gonna, I'm gonna trim these off. So it's up to you if you wanna run a bigger battery. Cause when it's sitting up like that, if your wash is full, like this is probably not too bad, but if your washer bottle's full, the water just spills out the side here and goes around. It's probably a risk that the seal's not that good. Everyone's at side cutters at home. I actually haven't tried this yet, so let's see how it goes. Side cutters. Oh, look at that. And just trim him off out the way. Oh, yep, just leave that down there. Oh, oh that didn't feel real good when I did that. Oh, yep, that was good. Trim him. So, oh, yep, we haven't put a hole in it, so that's good. We've done well. This this is actually the first product we've done that you've got to make a mod to, which is upsetting. But anyways, but I'd have used DIN 75. And then, this goes back in there and it sits flat. It's absolutely amazing. We've got a precision there. It just missed. Ah, oh, oh, look at that. And yeah, so 
that's it. And obviously we need to put our bolts back in. We're going to have a hell of a time getting that one over there, but that's okay. And don't forget, like I nearly did again, put the strut back on. Boink, strut's back on, happy days. We're good. As always, thanks to everyone for your support. If you like this content, give us the big thumbs up. Leave us a comment, make sure you subscribe. If you like the product, head over to our webpage, piratecampco.com.au. It'll be in the comments below, a link to this product. Um, thanks to everyone who pre-ordered. Help us out amazingly to understand how many we need to actually produce to sell these and get them out to you guys in stock. Um, yeah, thanks legends. We'll see you on the next one. You.